good afternoon uh, from india my name is anand sharma and i am a partner at uh, dfi design forum international we are a practice based out of new delhi and we delve in uh, buildings of kind which involve a lot of human experience as we choose to call it we deal in a lot of uh, residential infrastructure increasingly judicial infrastructure and a quite a bit of it is about uh, transport we doing airports and we doing uh, railway stations but in all uh, uh, the experiences that we have had as architects doing buildings which concern uh, people in various roles and formations there is one clear and growing uh, anxiety that has come into our uh, design philosophy as in the way the uh, pandemic has reshaped the in the, the way we work the way we play and the way we live has actually put very very serious questions as to the future of the built environment to be honest in march 2020 when this uh, pandemic first started at least in india uh there were a lot of questions there were uh, instances where we had had uh, been able to collaborate remotely with people across our office as well as across geographies but it was never a way of routinely doing things right so overnight or almost overnight the world became confined to one room right? or an apartment or some built space which is much smaller compared to what we were accustomed to and uh, the drastic change in um, the the envelope out of which we operated uh, led to a lot of anxiety however as things wore on and as we started getting accustomed to uh, to to working and collaborating with each other remotely uh, we got even more comfortable doing our uh, chats social uh, interactions informal interactions even across friend groups uh, friend groups sitting across the world remotely and in a confined environment it became more and more easy and it became uh, if i may so say so very very convenient to do that so those three months and in bits and pieces periods like those getting repeated over and over again and again over the last two years has actually thrown up some very very fundamental questions as to what is going to happen to the way we humans work operate live enjoy and play because that is the center of the debate going forward uh, we have always heard about the importance of work life balance but in today's times there is no balance we are living while we are working and we are working while we are living we playing while we are working and we are you know working while we are playing so it's all become very jumbled up and what that has led to is to uh, a demand or rather a requirement for us uh, architects for us designers to reimagine what is the future of the built environment going to be once again uh, the future for us Uh, in the kind of buildings that we envisage in the kind of buildings that we design is what we are choosing to call for the want of a better word a digital future digital in the sense that so long as humans remain as physical entities and not uh, metaverse entities uh, there is going to be a physical environment it is a physical realm of things digital because everything that we do uh, with our work and life has become digital so we need to look at uh, a way and a, a methodology of trying to do buildings uh, which are digital in nature but the future for us is going to be in that realm the built environment has to catch up and the balancing is gone so essentially this is where uh, there are two clear trends which seem to me emerging why 
because our spaces have undergone a very very major overhaul over the last few years the architecture and planning has gone a sea change and therefore what we need to do is to imagine a way in which all our future infrastructure physical residential work infrastructure uh, is done in a manner which enables uh, collaborations across straddling across the reams of physical as well as digital now how are we going to do that we must realize that with the dissolution or rather the blurring of boundaries between place of work life and play uh, the built environment has to remold itself to uh, take care and to accommodate this uh, growing paradigm change in the way built environment is done and therefore two very clear trends are going to emerge uh, designs are going to be focused more and more specifically to individual needs and expectations no longer can designs of built environments be made which are which which subscribe to a wider set of audience a wider set of user base we will have to go very very customized we will have to go very very so so the user base the target user that we are going to be designing buildings for is going to shrink very very greatly and very very substantially from a much larger user group to communities to families and probably eventually to only individuals so a the target user group will go smaller which means we will have to be more more focused and the other very clear trend that is going to emerge is the merger of physical and digital worlds so this is these are the two clear trends which are going to change the way architecture is practiced and the way architecture is going to be looked at so what is the solution the solution is to create a built environment which is at the crossroads of physical and digital and that is where hopefully our future lies um for architects the challenge is essentially about upgrading our establishments upgrading our built infrastructure and imbibing smart technology into the buildings that we uh, choose to live in so the life become easier healthier efficient and more comfortable than ever before so technological interface is going to be very very critical for us going forward uh but what is at the core of the digital principle is uh, a thought of reimagining the way our spaces are designed and worked at today a physical space has all the tenets of nature space time and context whereas a digital is not bound by any of those constraints but it has only one and only one to master the user himself or herself and therefore we will also need to look at environment which answers questions like how and where to incorporate technology and therefore automate the buildings that we do to what extent can we stretch the boundaries of what is accessible to us in terms of media in terms of information in terms of technology and how can we use this technology to create a habitat which is customized which is user focused but which is overall healthy from both physical well being as well as mental well being point of view and one very clear uh, path forward for all of us is to imbibe our buildings and embed our buildings with uh, a technology which is already available to us uh imagine uh, there are spaces where there are walls which are hard brick and hard mortar but they are enmeshed with sensors which enable internet of things and therefore those surfaces those walls those uh, divisive boundaries of space that we are working or living in are built 
not just of uh, hard material, but also of material which changes. Imagine um, a room which is false when you need not enough, uh, when you don't need uh, uh, an external interface, when you don't need views, uh, at times when it becomes a home, at times when it becomes an office. So imagine a wall which becomes a window, imagine a window which becomes a screen, imagine a screen which becomes a drawing board. So going forward, we are looking at interior solutions. We are looking at uh, places of uh, occupation where the physical spaces are not just uh, devising boundaries between physical boundaries uh, are not just devising lines between spaces, but they are also means and ways of experiencing the external world. Uh, and the interaction is going to be two way you will experience as much as you will embed and as much as you will impart. There are interior spaces that we are looking at now, which uh, have the bare minimum and bare basic necessities of uh, physical necessities like surfaces, but most surfaces are versatile. Most surfaces are multifunctional and they lend themselves to uses of absorption as well as imparting of information. So going forward, the challenge for, for us architects are going to be making spaces which are versatile, which are multifunctional, and which have at the click of a button, the functionality to change from one use type to another use type. So a digital world is what we all need to imagine, and this is what at our practice, we are going to be working towards already some of our projects, interiors projects, for instance, are being done and being handled with this kind of an approach. In mind. With that, uh, uh, hopefully thought provoking, probably disturbing idea, because the challenges are going to be many for us architects. We are used to doing uh, use specific buildings, we we'll need to do user specific. I would like to end, uh, bring an end to this discussion. Thank you very much for your time. I really enjoyed it.